Hello and welcome to Infinity. A strange thing happened to me today. I went photographing in Gloucester Cathedral in England and came home and we put on a, an episode of Doctor Who we hadn't watched and it was filmed in Gloucester Cathedral. It must be a message, so let's do a Gloucester Cathedral picture. So here's one uh, pointing straight up with a fisheye lens but, and I took a, an HDR, that's so I've got three images blended together but if you look in the middle here, you've got sort of lines along here, which are just uh, not great. So I'd like to be able to do something about that, because it's in the middle of the picture here, and it's the main focus. And it just looks rather grubby. It's all the shadows and things, but exaggerated by the HDR. So what shall we do to this? Let's first of all hit Control J to get a duplicate layer. I want to select that whole area there that's gone a bit mungy. So I'll go to the adjustments and go to levels. And I'm going to try and make all that lot white. So as I pull this layer down here, I'm just going to wait until all the bits I want to get to are white there. All about do. And I'm going to hit merge. Uh, and now I want to get rid of everything but those white areas. And to do that, I'm going to turn off the bottom layer so you can see through it. Go to Blend Ranges. And then I pull down the right hand, sorry, the left hand node here. And this makes transparent everything except everything that's left. And I can turn this right up here. And here I've got all that area selected, plus a few other random bits. Now I'm going to hit Select and selection from layer. So it will select everything now. So this nicely marks out the things I've got selected. And so I can go to the select brush, make sure the subtract is added and paint away those things around here that I don't want because I just want that ceiling bits in the middle. And I do this fairly quickly and be a bit more careful about bits around the edges. You can zoom in and do this in, in more detail, but you get the idea. So I'm just going to very quickly sort of paint away those bits I don't want. Yeah, because this will affect the whitey ceiling bits. That will do. And now, right click that layer and delete it because all I want is the selection. Click on Add Pixel Layer here to put another one in here. And I'm going to turn on the layer below so I can see that. And then if I use the pipette from up here, come down, I'll just pick a kind of middle gray here and then click on that and that comes onto the front color here. And make sure I've got the pixel layer here selected because I'm going to get the flood fill tool and with contiguous not selected so I click once in here and everything gets filled in then I've got this here so I hit Control D so I can get rid of the marching ants and now I can see this here now I want to sort of blend this back into the ceiling and I can do that I go down to a screen blend and there you go, that's dropped that back in there and that's already looking a lot better. And if I just turn the opacity down a bit, just so I get some textual variation, so the bit the original's coming through, around about 50% looks okay there. And see the difference now, if this was the previous one and this is the one I've got now. So I've really cleaned up that, that ceiling there pretty quickly with that sort of method. If you want to do add a bit more, very quickly, I can right click and merge down to a single layer. I'm going to go to the tone mapping persona. And I'll click something fancy here, like dramatic, which is a bit much. I'm going to turn down the local contrast because that makes it go all grungy again. Come down here. This often makes it too saturated, so I'll turn down the saturation, compensate a bit with vibrance, coming back up there, and then apply that. And thank you very much for watching.